Why don't you ever focus? What's up? I'm back at it again with this this shirt that makes it look like I'm not wearing anything. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to handle a bearded dragon. Now you're probably wondering, Taylor, uh, why are you making this pointless video? Everyone knows how to pick up a bearded dragon or you know, yada, yada, yada. But to be honest, there are dangerous ways you can hold your bearded dragon that some people may be holding them wrong. This is a video especially if you are a beginner bearded dragon owner. Right now is a proper way to hold your bearded dragons. There are many proper ways, but I'm just gonna be showing you guys some improper proper ways that people pick up their bearded dragons and hold their bearded dragons that don't really support them. So if you're a beginner bearded dragon owner, you always want to use two hands. When you're used to holding your bearded dragon, you can start to use one hand like this because you know what makes them comfortable. When you hold your bearded dragon, the two main things you want to look out for is supporting their chest and supporting their hind legs. Here's what happens if you don't support their hind legs. Just to show a demonstration, no Fitz's were harmed in the making of this video, but as you can see, Fitz's tail was whipping around. Now, when they whip their tail around, that basically means that there's no support in their hind legs. The tail whipping is so that they can try to swing around to grab something to hold on with their legs. A bearded dragon is gonna do that when they feel uncomfortable or they feel like they are not stable on your hand. So you always wanna make sure when you pick up your bearded dragon, if they start to tail whip, gently place them back down or immediately grab under their legs so it stops. Another wrong way to hold your bearded dragon would be like this. So you see how Fitz right now is trying to grab onto something with his front hand and he's actually tail whipping? It's because I'm holding his back legs but I'm not supporting his front. When I'm supporting her front and back legs, she's more calm because she knows that she's safe and she's unable to fall off of my hand. If I'm holding her any improper way, she's going to squirm around because she doesn't feel supported. You may know how to hold your bearded dragon. Holding the bearded dragon isn't really the hard part. It's more so picking them up. I know this scares a lot of people. I know Michael has trouble picking Fitz up because sometimes Fitz squirms around and it scares you. It frightens you a little bit because you know they're moving around so fast it's like what's wrong are they going to attack me? So I'm going to show you how to gently and safely pick up your bearded dragon. When picking up your bearded dragon I'm going to show you with one hand. You always want to make sure you support their chest and their hind legs like I said. So here would be the correct way to pick up your bearded dragon with one hand. Kit Kat can you move? <laughs> so you grab their chest and then you swing your arm under to get their hind legs too. And that is how to correctly pick up your bearded dragon with one hand. Here are three wrong ways you pick up your bearded dragon. You don't want to pick them up like this because their bottom legs aren't supported. You don't want to pick them up like this because they'll more than likely start walking. And you definitely don't want to pick them up like this because then they'll start tail whipping. When you're picking them up, you always want to make sure their front and their back is supported. When you're picking up your bearded dragon with two hands, it's very, very simple. You go under their head, you lift their shoulder up like this, and then you slip your other hand right under their butt. And just like this. And you can hold them with two hands and they won't go anywhere. Then, if you want to let go of one hand, you can gently place either side of the body on the other arm. So see how I use this hand to place the front of the body on my arm? And if I wanted to do vice versa, I would slip this hand under the body as much as possible and slide her up so I can grab onto the bottom legs. If you're holding your bearded dragon, they're sometimes going to want to run off of you. That's normal, just give it time. So guys, I hope this video was informational and I could teach you all how to hold your bearded dragon because there are some wrong ways you could pick up and hold your bearded dragon and we definitely don't want that. Also, this is for those of you, if you feel a little uncomfortable with holding your bearded dragon because they squirm around a lot, this actually minimizes the squirming. Another tip, if your bearded dragon moves around a lot, like they're going practically crazy, you can also gently place your hand in front of their head like this and it'll stop them from moving. You don't want to like grip their face and you don't want to do it too loosely. You want to like gently cover their face because then they'll think, you know, there's nowhere to go. And then once you're a pro bearded dragon holder, you'll basically find new ways to hold them safely. Mm -hmm. 